Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video today. If you couldn't tell by the title and thumbnail, we are getting destructive once again. You know, I try to put past my old ways, but I can't help it. Sometimes I just want to blow stuff up and destroy things, not in real life though. So yeah, we're going to be testing a bunch of the bomb mods that we previously went over and we're going to test them on lucky blocks and you know, let's just, let's start with a little example. I didn't mean to do that. Oh. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess we did get a little bit of an example. Not exactly the example I wanted to. I forgot you can't just break the lucky blocks. But let's do a, a little example for real this time. But first, a message from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is what you call a turn-based RPG done right. I know you've already heard about Raid everywhere, but there's a great reason for it. That's because Raid is one of the top three ranked RPGs on the Google Play Store. Raid also has over 400 champions that you can collect and personally customize. In Raid, you can enjoy a fully voiced story campaign, you can assemble a team from 16 heroic factions. Amongst these factions are orcs, the undead, knights, elves, and more. Not to mention you can even raid with your friends when you're in a clan. But the greatest thing about Raid Shadow Legends is that it is a completely free to play game. There's new champions every month, there's progression rewards, there's even a roadmap you can check out to see what's coming out in future updates. Also keep in mind once you finish all the progression awards you will be rewarded with one of the best legendary champions in the game, the Arbiter. So what are y'all waiting for? If you download the game using my link in the description, you will automatically get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as a part of the new player program to start your journey. You can find me under the in-game nickname of GamerDiz101, and if you're quick enough, you may be able to join my clan. But yeah, shout out Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. You know, I really do enjoy the game. I love making my heroes more powerful and leveling them up. And I also really enjoy unlocking new skills and abilities and attacks. And the game looks great for being a mobile game but again thank you raid shadow legends for sponsoring me let's hop back into the video so we're just gonna be testing out just the bomb just a normal vanilla terraria bomb and you know we got a good bit of lucky blocks here and let's see how much damage this one bomb can cause now i expect very maximum damage yeah it's that's that's pretty good damage it actually didn't blow up as many things as i thought it would instead it just kind of left a mess and i put a lot of stronger enemies around me specifically these guys get the hell away from me all right so this time we're gonna do the same thing but instead we're gonna be using dynamite and i believe dynamite can reach this whole entire box of lucky blocks but yeah let's go ahead let's see what kind of destruction this dynamite will cause hopefully bigger than the bomb one yeah that's that's a little bit of a dish a little bit of destruction i'm not gonna lie there things definitely seem destroyed i don't know what the hell's going on low key my eyes kind of hurt so that was kind of like our control experiment seeing you know what kind of destruction a bomb and dynamite would cause and it's pretty damn destructive the next best thing would be explosives themselves but they're not that much bigger than a dynamite i think they're like a little bit bigger yeah i think that's enough of that there's a mine down there i think that's enough of the vanilla stuff though and uh, i think we should move moving to the modded stuff but yeah this is quite a decent amount of destruction from just one bomb and one piece of dynamite all right so the next thing i want to test out is kind of unique in the way it does things this bomb is very unique in the way it does things it's called a fill bomb and it fills in an area instead of you know exploding and destroying an area it fills in the open areas with whatever block is in your inventory and as you can see it says item lucky block amount 9999 now let's see how this works i'm very interested to see how this works and if it works at all let's go ahead let's use the uh sticky variant and uh let's go ahead place it right here and let's see if it actually works it does work it's very interesting how it placed the blocks down here but uh let's go ahead let's try the uh dynamite now and see how that works how much uh room this fills in so this could be a way that i can you know fill it oh ran out of dirt blocks i didn't know i had dirt blocks in my inventory maybe i had that one that i just picked up on accident i wonder if it fills up the whole area it fills up a good amount so yeah i probably could use this in this video to help me fill out areas and you know areas i could destroy but there you go we'll place a bunch of these before we use our next bomb so the next bomb we're gonna use is this hell dynamite and hell bomb this bomb and dynamite stick what they do is they create a hole to hell if you haven't seen the previous videos where i tested these out they create a hell hole so we're gonna try and do that here but uh we're gonna do it on top of the lucky blocks and you know just see how it works out see uh if it works in general but let's go ahead let's wire these up to something all right we have the bomb set up here and uh, let's see what kind of destruction this causes if any at all that 
seemed like definitely the most destructive yet and i'll be 100 percent honest i did not expect that much destruction from those two little bombs but uh this is not a bad start to our video here so we're gonna go away from destruction for a second and we're gonna go to a good way to place a bunch of lucky blocks here for our next test and that is placing the lucky blocks okay let's get a nice little square and then we're gonna use cheat sheets paint tool and if you don't remember what cheat sheets paint tool does it kind of allows you to copy and paste things so we're gonna make a nice little big box we can copy and paste and just you know place a bunch of lucky blocks at ease so we're gonna go ahead and use this boom copied it and now we click on it click on the paint tiles and watch this boom boom and boom we got a nice little square right here and we can even copy and paste that and pretty much like quadruple the size of what we have but now we have a mod in here called vein miner it's a really good mod very useful quality of life mod for playthroughs and uh, we're gonna make sure that we have the lucky block mod added to the list of vein miners blocks that we can vein mine and uh, we're gonna see how destructive we can get with just vein mining now let's do a quick test okay let's do a quick test just to see if this works in general place a nice three blocks and let's just see so it does work it mined all three of those so uh let's see how destructive this gets y'all ready for this oh god this this might be bad this might be crash worthy i'm hearing some noises i've never heard before in terraria i can't move at all i've been trying to move this whole time i'm just stuck here it actually wasn't that destructive if i'm being honest i still can't move that's why i can't move i'm oozed for a minute wait i can move I can move. There's still lucky blocks to mine. And I must mine them. Okay, that, that actually was very calm for mining, like, what, like 10 blocks right there? What about those ones? Also very calm. Yeah, actually, mining those blocks, it seems that it got a little bit more peaceful. All right, so next up, we have the uh, Shredder gun here from Calamity. It's a very fast gun, but that's not the only thing we have here from Calamity. We have the rubber mortar rounds, which you guys have seen this in the past, and you know that these things are very destructive. So let's go ahead. Let's put them to the test and see how destructive they are with Lucky Blocks. Game crashing? We haven't had the game crash. It actually wasn't destructive at all. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> kind of like a jump scare there. The Halloween's over. We, we can calm down with that. But... Oh, okay, okay. We're getting a little destructive. My controls are mixed up now. I'm, I'm playing backwards. Well, one more, one more shot. One more shot should be good. If I can remember what direction to go with my controls. I, I can't go up with my controls at all. Wait, I can fly though. Let's get that last piece right there. Oh, these controls are so weird. They're not like reverse. They're like, sometimes I move diagonal when I press up. I don't know why. I don't think I can destroy those last blocks. The 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 bullets have become impervious. Is that the, is that the right word? They don't work anymore. Is why I can't move now. Believe it or not, there's like no other like explosive slash destructive mobs that I know about that came out since I did my last video. You know, with a bunch of the destructive slash explosive mods. So we're pretty much using all the same ones again. I'd be typing the word nuke bomb explosive in the mod browser. I can't find anything, but maybe there are mods and they're just hidden deep in there. And you know, the mod doesn't have any of those in the title. But yeah, let me know if there's anything with some like crazy explosive type stuff. But anyways, moving on, we're here on the mega bomb mod now, and we're gonna be testing the eater of your world and if you guys don't remember what this does we'll just take a look here you know just one simple click of the mouse and shoots out a plantera head that literally eats your worlds we're gonna do the same thing here with these lucky blocks let's get a nice like diagonal shot okay we still haven't crashed yet we've had a lot of mobs spawn and a lot of chaos but we still haven't crashed and uh i'm waiting for that crash let's go ahead let's put it to the test eater of your worlds it just stopped right there. It got stopped by something. Maybe those spikes stopped it. I don't know. Let's try again. I have a fairy with me now. Is that my fairy? I, I don't know. Let's try again though. I've noticed the lucky blocks like to make it dark. So hopefully that doesn't happen this time. What just happened? Oh, does this? Oh, it stops on like entities. If there's like a mob or something, it stops on them. This is what I'm starting to notice. Let's go ahead. Let's try again. See if it works this time. Yeah, yeah it worked a little bit better. It's just the... Oh my God. <laughs> no not santa oh god the eater of your worlds wasn't that destructive so we're raising the ante up and we're not using the eater worlds anymore instead we're going to the mega bomb and i never know which one from these mods is the one that guaranteed crashes my game is one of these and i don't know if the mega bomb is better than the nuclear bomb or what but whatever let's test it out i'm expecting my game to crash but i'll be 100 percent surprised if it doesn't but let's see mega bomb let's let's see if this destroys the world oh we gotta freeze i'm hearing noises gulping oh that hurt my ears. It's still frozen for me. Oh my god. The game didn't crash. I'm, I'm, 
honestly surprised that we still haven't crashed the game. That was some pure chaos, though. As you can see, there's lava. Huh? Oh, no, there's just there's something going on here. It's actually not that bad. Oh, this created a gigantic hole. Let, let me brighten up the area. Let me brighten up the area a bit here. Maybe I should use the map reveal item. Oh my god, my controls are mixed up again. It's doing that thing where I go diagonal sometimes. I don't know why. How big is this hole? Does this straight up just take a chunk out of the world? Wow, this is a pretty big chunk it took out of the world. It might have just taken the whole... Whoa, what the fuck is going on down here? Oh, okay, so it ends right here. That's that's a pretty big chunk of the world. And uh, you know, it's pretty impressive. The world didn't crash, even with all the lucky blocks. And on top of the bomb, which you know, I've had times where the game just crashed straight up from the bombs. But yeah, I guess we're moving on to the nuclear bomb, which I believe this is the one that straight up crashes the game. Well, let's put it to the test. All right, so we have a wall of lucky blocks here. It looks beautiful. I turned up the brightness, so you know all the blocks are the same color. But uh, let's go ahead and turn that off now. And I just want to show you real quick quick the damage done by that mega bomb we threw and look at this this whole area gone because that one mega bomb that's, that's pretty good that's pretty decent size if the moon lord ever wanted to eat his uh, rhesus puffs in peace you know he could place a mega bomb pour some milk in that bitch and then boom bada bing he's got a nice big bowl honestly this bowl might be big even for the moon lords maybe like four moon lords can all share some rhesus puffs i don't know but yeah we're gonna be dropping the nuclear bomb this i think straight up crashes the game but you know might as well put it to the test anyways and see let's see what this does come on hopefully i turn god mode back on oh i'm hearing noises the noises are good the game hasn't crashed maybe because you know team loader i updated it and we're playing on 64 bit it will survive question mark i don't know oh i'm hearing gunshots hey low-key i was ducking real life oh you hear that oh i hear that you can't miss that you for sure you're gonna hear that got a, got a little peaceful it went from my left ear to my right ear we may survive the crash we survived it no crash yet again nothing but pure chaos the game is moving very slow i have reverse controls yet again but uh our, our game survived and that's all that matters honestly the fact that we were able to nuke that many lucky blocks and our game survived okay i my hands are off the keyboard right now floating up into the heavens I don't know what's happening. All right, just so we can gauge the damages here and, you know, compare them. We got this right here. This is from the Mega Bomb. And this is from the Nuclear Bomb. Holy shit. This thing, this this was a big explosion. Why is there so many? Where's there so many of these guys? <laughs> it's just like a couple NPCs scattered in. A lot of them are named Pip. Interesting name. But look at this. This, this is crazy. The explosion comparison all right so next up the one we've been waiting for the most now i think this one honestly is going to be the least destructive in terms of lucky blocks because i think the tactical nuke from the tactical nuke mod it just deletes everything instead of breaks it much like how the black hole pickaxe would just delete things so i don't know if even placing a bunch of a bunch of lucky blocks is going to do anything but we're going to do it anyways we're going to fill up a giant space and see if that's affected by it or not but yeah let's put it to the test all right i have assembled our wall of lucky blocks here now the scariest thing is is that there's a chest over here that i think i broke on accident i don't know if it's actually broken oh, okay it is broken there was a chest there and i accidentally placed stuff on it didn't oh my god I just filled up my inventory but yeah i didn't know if i broke the chest or what i did actually break that chest like it broke the items dropped out of it and you know the chest itself dropped but yeah let's drop this tactical nuke let's do it let's drop this tactical nuke, tactical nuke oh shit see it's just tradition that i say that after the tactical nuke incoming speech has been said it's not even a speech i don't know why i said that but let's see this nuke drop and let's see you know what happens will it actually hit the lucky blocks it missed the lucky blocks but as expected it kind of just deletes the whole entire world the map hasn't updated but if i do this if i get me another map here from the uh fargo's mod and uh, re -refre refresh it by you know clicking again with it boom the map has been updated and look at this it, it really didn't blow up this side of the map which is actually surprising i thought it blew up the whole map but for everything from here to the right is just straight up gone including the lucky blocks themselves so we're gonna do one more thing okay since the nuclear bomb worked i think we're gonna get the nuclear bomb again for the finale here and uh we're gonna just place a bunch of lucky blocks a bunch of them and we're gonna see what happens all right so here we are we got a nice big wall place this has to be at least a couple thousand and uh let's see if the game crashes because honestly that's kind of been my little side quest is to crash the game because you know it just hasn't crashed and we're doing some very destructive things so i feel like the game should crash it has to this time it has to this time we're gonna be paused for a little bit i can feel it 
Now, at least the thing is here, it's only breaking the lucky blocks, and there's nothing else the game has to break. All of the blocks... Oh, God! What in the hell? <laughs> Yo, I gotta take off my headphones. This is kind of loud. Holy shit. What was I even talking about? I don't know. It's like I got hit by a flashbang. Oh, and there we go. It's just like that. It's extremely dark. But just like that, the world is perfectly fine again. I don't know how. That is a very interesting image. Uh oh, here we go. I'm floating up into the sky again. Gotta play with reverse controls. I've been playing reverse controls so much, you know, I'm kind of getting used to it. But uh, yeah, it looks like our my computer and Terraria can survive. That's the finale of this video. You know, it's been a video I've been wanting to do a while ever since I found the Lucky Blocks mod and everyone knows I like exploding things too. So I think it's just a given. But yeah, thank you everybody for watching the video. Shout out Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring the video. Make sure to follow my Twitch, Twitter, join my Discord, subscribe to my second YouTube channel. I will see y'all next time.